I'm not sorry cause that was intentional Uh huh I meant every word that I said Yeah You get angry with me cause I'm flexible Uh huh End of how I like things in the bed Oh, oh, no My heart's like an ocean It's deep and it's open The one thing I promise What's up guys, it's Mabo here. In today's video I want to talk about how I achieve the dream film look in my videos. There are several components coming together. Uh, I want to split this up in three chapters. One is equipment, second is my camera settings and the third is editing. I teamed up again with Nisi Filters in this video to give away four of their mist filters, so stay tuned to participate. So in my last video portrait series, like my last seven or eight video portraits, I was filming exclusively with the Canon FD line. These are vintage lenses from the 70s. I really like their look. They're not so perfect and clinically sharp like modern day lenses. The colors uh, out of these lenses are really nice. And I think these lenses add up to this uh, film feel already. I also got the 50 millimeter f1.4. Um, I shot a uh, video portrait last year, uh, Winter with Lady with it. Also really nice bokeh, really uh, nice color rendering and skin tones. But um, since 50 millimeter is really cutting out a lot of the environment, I found myself uh, using the 24 millimeter in most cases. I think it's just a sweet spot between uh, wide angle uh, and portrait lens. These lenses are pretty affordable. I got the SSC line, they're a bit more expensive. The SSC line promises to uh, give you a little bit more contrast, uh, less reflection in your image. I did not compare the regular FD lenses with the SSC lenses, but I think these uh, differences are not really big. So um, if you're on a budget and you want to shoot with FD lenses, just go for the regular FD line and not the SSC line. There are even cheaper options like the 28 mm 2.8 um, or the 50 mm 1.8. And you can get these already for 60 to 70 bucks on eBay. These are of course manual focus only. So um, it can be a little challenge uh, when you're moving fast, uh, your model, your object is moving uh, to keep focus. Um, but this imperfection of being out of focus then going into focus can be also uh, satisfying for the viewer's eye and these imperfections of manual focus also add up to this uh, vintage uh, film feel. So next up to the diffusion filters. This might be the most important part for my look I'm creating. Diffusion filters are filters with a little structure on it uh, which softens the image. It takes out this digital sharpness most modern cameras have. Uh, makes the image softer and also adds a glow to the highlights of your image. I think this effect can give your video a really artistic touch. It's not meant to be for all projects, but especially for artistic videos, it uh, can add up very nicely and give it some more organic and um, warm feel. And last year I started to use the Nisi Black Mist filters. Um, by accident I added up the Tiffin filter and the Nisi filter. I thought at the beginning that the effect might be way too much, but I really got to like it. And um, for my last seven or eight video portraits, I was using both filters, stacked them up. And uh, yeah, I really like this intense glow effect in combination with these vintage lenses. So to the giveaway guys, I teamed up with Nisi filters again. They're giving away four filters. You can choose which intensity you would like and what filter size you need. There are intensities from a half, a quarter to an eighth. You just have to comment with the hashtag Nisi if you want to win one of these filters. The raffle of the winners is gonna be next Friday on my Instagram channel uh, at JustMabo. So be sure to follow me over there as well. So to the camera settings, I'm shooting with the a7S III, that's my go-to camera. I'm shooting in S-Log3, s Gamma Cine 3 to have a little bit more flexibility on grading. Um, I created my own film LUTs, the Marble film LUTs. My LUTs are inspired by film emulation LUTs, so they mimic uh, the film look in different ways, different uh, film editions. And this combination of um, vintage lens, diffusion filter, and uh, film LUT makes the whole look. Since Sony tends to sharpen the uh, image overall, um, I'm going down to minus seven in my settings, the lowest you can get, uh, to take out more of this digital sharpness. I'm uh, shooting mostly with uh, 120 or 60 frames, 
um, having the flexibility to use slow motion and um, to really cut out the key scenes, uh, good scenes, good framing, gives you this range where you can choose in slow motion. This is also maybe one of the uh, visual elements that create this dreaminess since I'm moving around a lot, I'm really agile with my camera and I'm cutting out really small scenes out of slow motion uh, where I think um, the framing, the movement and the aesthetics are best. I told you I'm using the Marble Film LUTs. Um, I created them for the S-Log3 as Game of Cine 3, but also in another version for Rec. 7 or 9 profiles. So you can use them on every camera. You correct your image first and then you apply the LUT at the end. I'm always applying 60 mm or 35 mm grain to my uh, videos. This adds up to this uh, film feel and uh, yeah, just overall finishes the picture and gives it uh, a more organic and cinematic look. And sometimes when I want the image to get really grainy, I even overlay two or three layers of 16 or 35 millimeter um, yeah, to get it really grainy and really moody and uh, organic. There's grain available in my Marble Film Frames uh, package where I'm also selling these frames, um, you know, from my videos. Um, but you can also find free alternatives uh, on the web. So guys, that's it with this video and how I create this dreamy look in my videos. I hope I could help you out. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I wish you good luck with the giveaway. One of my biggest projects up to date will be announced soon. Uh, I'm gonna start a clothing line, the first drop of um, fashion from creators for creators will come out end of July. We're producing a big video campaign. I try to step up the game. We try to create something really unique and something really eye-catching and some next level stuff. The video campaign is gonna be released on YouTube, the behind the scenes, um, a video portray on the artist designing the t-shirts. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated. That's it for this video. You can follow me on Instagram. I post some small reels uh, over there. I'm really liking uh, these so short Instagram edits lately. Follow me there to not miss out on anything. See you in the next one. Peace. I'm not sorry cause that was intentional. Uh -huh. I meant every word that I said. Yeah. You get angry with me cause I'm flexible. Uh -huh. End of how I like things in the bed. Oh, oh, no. My heart's like an ocean. It's deep and it's open.